This past September, I was able to return to public land in Montana and chase elk again. It had been nearly three years since I had last been, and I was excited to chase these magnificent creatures with bow and arrow again. On the ninth and nearly the last day of my hunt, I was finally able to get an opportunity at a beautiful 4x5 bull, and I was able to catch it on video. As I had a chance to review the footage back home and really start analyzing it frame by frame, I realized I had a great opportunity to understand how elk react to a bow shot, to determine if they can jump string, so to speak, and by how much. In this video, we'll take a careful look at this shot and shed some light on this question. Here, the elk is walking out of this wallow, and I know that my opportunity to get a shot might be ending very soon, so I creep forward on my small stool and drop back. I'm sure the elk heard the creaking from the stool, or maybe he caught movement that caused him to stop and look my way. I was pretty well camouflaged, so I don't expect he immediately realized what he was looking at, but he was in an alert state at this point. I estimate that the elk was about 42 yards away from me at the shot. I settled my 45 yard pin behind his shoulder and muscle memory took over, sending the arrow flying off my string. The shot was true. He stumbled as he went through the timber above the wallow and reappeared down the hill. He staggered and fell within sight. Now, let's slow this video way down and really take a look at what happened during the shot. I'm going to pause it here because this is the first frame in which the elk's muscles tense since the time the arrow was released. You can see the lighted knock here, and my very rough guess is that the arrow has now traveled about 30 yards, give or take. I shoot a 75 pound bow with 478 grain arrows going 279 feet per second. Here, I'll put a line on the bull's back and on his belly for reference. I'll pause here again. As best as I can see, this is when the arrow hits the bull. You can see that the bull's torso has dropped. Let's zoom in. My guess is that he's dropped down six to eight inches from his initial stance. Here we can see that he's continuing to drop down and starting to turn his torso to the left as the arrow goes through. This brings up a very important point about arrow penetration and the physics of it. The target is moving as the arrow is penetrating, thus the momentum of the arrow is no longer directed in a perfectly straight line, which decreases arrow penetration. Another YouTuber that goes by the name Ranch Fairy talks about this in some of his videos, and it's why, in my opinion, you don't want to skimp on arrow penetration when you're hunting tough animals like elk or big hogs here in Texas. You can see that the arrow entered the torso just behind the shoulder, a little more than halfway up the body. It was a very effective shot. The bull ran about 30 yards, stumbled and fell within sight. He was done very shortly after. I couldn't believe it. 11 years and several elk trips had passed since I had taken my first bull and I had finally succeeded in doing it again. I was grinning from ear to ear. I thanked God for this magnificent animal and for the ability and opportunity to hunt them in these mountains. The afternoon grew long and it was time to get to work dressing this elk. He may not make the trophy books, but there is no question that this elk is a trophy in my book. So can elk jump string? Yes, absolutely. You're better off shooting at relaxed, unsuspecting animals, especially at further distances. But that's not always the situation that you're presented with. Luckily, elk have a large vital area, so you have some margin for error. I'm Jesse with Strix Outdoors. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching.